This one is 429. And then I'll show you guys this guy. Last night, we sold 55,000 in sales. <laughs> Just being able to say 55,000 in like a matter of two minutes blows my mind. Like I still don't believe this is real life. Quick run through, 599. When my business started making six figures, that's when I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe we should rethink this and see if I should pursue this full time. Mika, you say? I am a small business owner and I cater to vintage designer. Everything has always been very curated based on like my style, like my love for fashion. Every bag that I pick out, every single one, if I don't love it, I'm not gonna sell it because one, there's risk involved. If I don't sell it, then I have to keep it. And if I don't love it, I'm not ever gonna use it. And two, at the end of the day, me going on live, me going on Instagram, on social media, showing these bags, if it's not 100% authentic, people are gonna see right through you. Like I always think that like, oh, maybe my website glitched because everything says sold out. But like, you guys are really just so freaking fast. Is everything sold out? I came from a single parent household and so I've pretty much grown up like thrifting, finding great deals, shopping secondhand and financially like I just didn't want to like ask my mom for things if I could find it at a thrift store and then just spend like a few dollars on it. I love vintage bags. I feel like they have more character, they're really unique. At the end of the day, very good quality because they're 20, almost 30 year old bags. So I was like telling my fiance, oh my gosh, like I love finding secondhand bags. I'm finding like so many. I'm obviously leaving them at the stores. I'm like, even if I see a good deal, I can't buy all of them because financially I wouldn't be able to afford rent. He kind of gave me this idea like, oh, well, why don't you like start buying them and then selling it and then just make like a little bit of money so that you can keep it going. a lot of money on the line is extremely scary to me um and i think it also comes from like you know i came from a single parent household we were kind of financially insecure show you guys up close she, she's got gold tone hardware beautiful caviar condition is an excellent excellent condition i'm going to show you guys up close this is not a stable job in any way like if you don't even sell one bag you made zero dollars this week at the time, like, yes, I worked in a corporate role, but I still had student loans. I still had rent. We had the bills to pay for. I think it was really when I entered TikTok that it kind of blew up. I had one video that went viral and thankfully it was about like my small business, really like showing like the business side of like selling designer bags. And it ended up getting like 2.8 million views. It's not like I amassed a huge following. I think I've gained like maybe probably like 10,000 followers from that one video. That's a lot. Did anyone on TikTok um, get a bag? I tested it out and they ended up selling like so quickly. And it was because I was kind of like telling my followers, hey, I'm gonna be dropping these bags. I'm not gonna pre-sell them. Like they're just going to be live at seven. So if you can make it, then it's kind of your lucky day. But if you can't, then stay tuned for the next one. Okay, it's 7 p.m. So all the bags are full shipped. And I think that kind of just changed everything. So I was making five figures at my corporate job. And then when my business started making six figures, that's when I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> maybe we should rethink this and see if I should pursue this full time. Gosh. I love it. Yeah. This reminds me of a bag that I actually have. Um, it's, mm -hmm. it, it's the double-sided one that we yes. sold with the large- You think it would be like easier once you start working full time as opposed to like having two jobs, but no, I'm like so strict on myself. And I feel like that's also a good thing because if I wasn't like super dedicated, I don't think that this business would be where it is today. 
The beginning of the week is Mondays. So Mondays are when I kind of look at my inventory and I have an idea of how many bags I wanna sell. So typically right now, I'm trying to sell between 20 to 30. That's been my goal. And I'm very strategic with what kind of bags every drop to, because I kind of want there to be a variety. So once we've got that figured out, then I'll um, meet with my photographer and we'll have our photo shoot. Ooh, yeah. Oh my God, it's so cute. Let's do another one. Where I love uh, twist, twist. Tuesdays are when, you know, it's more like prepping the listings, like typing up the descriptions of every single bag and then uploading the images onto my website on Shopify. And then Wednesday, whew, I'll wake up early and then look at all the listings to make sure like everything's good to go. Once I'm done with that, it's all marketing at this point up until I have to go to the event at six. We'll go on the live and then at 7 p.m. exactly, all the bags will drop and then it's kind of their opportunity to snag something if they see it, if they want it. So she is a beautiful like burnt orange, like very vibrant, almost like neon like orange. Okay, Alex, you got the Louis Vuitton Montserrat MM backpack. Jessica got the Fendi Zuka baguette. That is everything. Um, this is so crazy. Thursdays are sourcing days. <sighs> So sourcing days are when I'm like working with my vendor. I'm basically like working with her and looking at the bags, I'm looking at what we think is gonna be really great pieces that we can sell for the next week. Stop, this can fit what, your AirPods? <laughs> and then on top of that, going to like thrift stores around me. It's also my favorite day because I get to just see and feel all the really great bags. I actually hired my mom and my sister to help me pack orders. I was thinking like if I was to hire my mom and my sister, for example, and have them ship out my orders, I would gain a full day. And what does that full day look like? A full day could mean I can add an additional five, maybe even 10 bags to my inventory for the next drop. So it's kind of like holding myself to it that if you hire someone, you have to do something in exchange. This did not come overnight. You put in a lot of like hours and you put in so much, you make so many sacrifices, you know? I'm just really happy like reflecting on it. I'm just so proud of like how much this has grown. I would love to get to a place where in like five years I can say I have a whole team helping me out. I have a warehouse. I have, you know, an actual brand that's outside of my house. That is the end goal for sure.